I remove the SIM card and the memory card. Then in the S Pen, you can see a few drops of water on it. So uh, let's try that. As well as the button. Okay. Now we found the best location uh, to put in the tweezers, and then we are using any uh, plastic card to separate the screen from the plastic cover. Uh, be careful because sometimes the screen is uh, even the edges are very fragile and uh, they are usually as from glass as well so they are like a continu continuation to the, the LCD itself okay so uh, it's coming along nicely uh, you can see here there's uh, like a tiny small crack in the plastic cover but uh, it should be okay so we continue around, around. You basically have to be uh, slightly a bit careful so you don't uh, break anything inside. Okay, so the cover is off. You can see a few drops of water here. Let me zoom in. Okay, so you can see the water here. Uh, so glad I, I opened it because I was planning actually to just put it in rice directly. So. Uh, yeah, a lot of water to dry here, uh, and it might seem trivial, but this uh, amount of water is can be sufficient to uh, damage the electronics over time and create maybe rust. Okay, should be okay. The contacts are the most important. The copper contacts have to be clean. This one is like a thermal pad, so not as important, but also it's dry now. Okay, let's check here. There's a few droplets within the S Pen groove, but uh, otherwise uh, it looks okay. So basically, if you didn't know, my kids submerged the uh, tablet in water. So uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's check here. It doesn't seem to be a lot of water. And this is the, the battery connector. We'll take it out in a bit. Mm. There's no other water here. Okay. Okay, let's remove this protection for the connector of the battery. So the most important thing about removing the battery is that uh, without removing it, there will be electricity flowing, some electricity at least flowing within the electronic circuits. And with water, you can basically short the circuit. So we want to have uh, almost no power within the circuits of the BCP until it dries out in the in the in the rise. Now we're uh, trying to dry it out even more. Checking out the connectors, the USB and uh, headphone jack have to uh, insert the tissue inside just to make sure there's no uh, droplets uh, trapped inside okay seems fine okay Okay, now it's the rise time. Gonna put the tablet and uh, other components in the rise. But first, we have to press on the home button because it's a physical button and might have some water inside. And indeed, we find a few droplets. So let's uh, press it again a couple of more times just to make sure any trapped water is, as, is also out. Uh, obviously, the rise will should dry any smaller droplets that cannot that are not visible or are like trapped uh, in an unaccessible uh, location but yeah we just do our best to remove any water visible before we put it in the bag okay let's put the S-Pen as well okay this is the power button it, it's uh, the power button fell from the cover uh, we're gonna insert it later on when we assemble the tablet so we put all this aside right now and uh, yeah Let's leave it uh, for a couple of days. So, uh, 40 hour, 
48 hours later we're opening it and uh, let's see hopefully everything works smoothly so now we just have to clean it out of the rise and uh, and uh, assemble it so hopefully uh, it's easy enough okay let's spend and the Uh, the black uh, box inside the rice is actually a humidity uh, measurement uh, that I added later on before but it's, it's not very important it's just only for uh, like uh, my uh, out of curiosity that I put it there but it's it really doesn't have any function to the process of drying uh, the water out and we basically put it in rice and go through all this trouble just to prolongate the the tablet life because once dropped in water there is somehow the the life uh, cycle or li like lifetime of the tablets already compromised or the phone so it wouldn't last as long but at least it should last a bit longer than if we haven't dried it because obviously the rusting wouldn't happen as fast so it should be okay so yeah a few rides got up here okay Everything seems to be fine. The power button back in place. And let's put it back together. So we basically have to insert, insert it diagonally to make sure the power button and the volume buttons uh, are uh, well in place and correctly uh, matching the location on the tablet. I mean each tablet will have like slight variations to this because like the obviously the positions of the buttons are not the same everywhere but yeah uh, yeah this is the general concept and luckily also this tablet doesn't have a, a lot of adhesive b in between the the cover and the tablet itself so it's uh, very easy to assemble it has been around with me for a few years so yeah, I'm glad it's back Wow, this is amazing. It's already on. Hopefully, uh, everything goes on smoothly. Okay, the home screen. Okay, let's unlock it. Okay, let's try charging it as well. See if this works out. Hopefully, it does. Okay, it's charging. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much.